All right, welcome to Photo Footage. Today we are talking about second shooters and becoming a second photographer or shooting along. Yeah, it, it's funny because uh, a lot of photographers uh, start out second shooting weddings, but neither of us did that very much. So. Well, I guess we were uh, maybe a little too bold, or maybe just we didn't. Yeah, I, who knows? But um, I think we've. Uh, I mean, for maybe fifty percent of my weddings, I have a, a second photographer. Depending yeah, on the I always bring a second shooter with me. I always have another photographer. Yeah, so we can uh, both give some pretty good advice on um, to second photographers out there. So yeah, so like when yeah. I'm looking for a second photographer, I'm usually looking for someone who's been doing it for a little while, who has like a pretty, maybe not a crazy awesome kit, but has like some equipment that proves that they're taking it seriously. And uh, I like people who are friendly and easy to be around. Yeah, for sure. So um, every photographer is going to be a little bit different, and so you may just have to interview with a couple of different photographers because um, I, I know I think we both kind of hire maybe different types of people. I may be more um, inclined to hire like an introverted person just because um, I, I, I feel like I'm not like an overbearing personality at a wedding, and so I don't want to compete uh, with, with another photographer who may be uh, loud and really sort of um, just like like outgoing and, and talking the whole day and stuff so um, but yeah like even if it doesn't matter if you're introverted extroverted or anything there's probably yeah. a great uh, fit for somebody I like there. I tend to choose photographers that are more <laughs> extroverted because that's kind of more how yeah. I am I like to be kind of loud and I'm, you know people are kind of used to that sort of thing so yeah, yeah. having another person like that is good but uh, another thing that I really like to, to, to check on or consider when I'm when I'm looking at having another shooter is what how long they've been in it and what they're looking to get out of it like if their goals are to become like a, a full-time photographer and they want to be like a wedding photographer or something like that i'm usually more inclined to work with those people knowing that over time they're going to increase their knowledge and eventually they'll leave me and go off and do it on their own but in that interim time i'm going to have a photographer who's really dedicated and interested in doing it and put, giving it 100 percent. yeah Let's go into uh, tips that you give your, your second photographers, maybe like the first time you're, sh you're shooting with them. So I'll give a couple of mine real quick. So um, my, my number one pet peeve is photographers going up to detail tables and just pointing their camera down at the details. Like it, it looks like totally uncomposed. And so um, I, I think pretty much any photographer that you're going to drive them crazy if you give them a bunch of detail photos like that. So uh, bend down, get next to the details, um, sh shooting directly overhead or from a 45 degree just angle. Try to get more than one shot. Try to get a couple different angles in case yeah. like, the photographer yeah. that you're shooting for likes things differently. If, if my second is, is new, um, my, my advice is to uh, split the details into uh, into like thirds on the table. So uh, take one wide shot of, of all the things. Don't do it like this. Don't just like lean over and uh, just point your camera, make it composed, and then um, just kind of go in a little bit closer um, two or three times. And then so just uh, narrow it down to like the smallest uh, detail on the table. Go for that. Um, of course, get the, the wide shot. So think uh, uh, of photos as wide and also tight and really just try to um, start start wide maybe and just kind of go in there, see how close you can get, see how many different details you can get individually too. Yeah, so that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's good to be able to try to provide a variety because you never know what the, the lead photographer yeah. is going to want. So if the more shots that you can make, the better. I tell you, um, when I'm evaluating second shooters and I'm thinking like, of what they can improve and stuff after a, a first a first session. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll sit down with the photographers and I'll go through the photos with them and I'll try to explain some compositional th things that I like and I don't like and some things they could do that were more similar. Because at the end of the day, you want it to be similar to your brand still So because people are booking you for your style and stuff. So I always try to help my photographers yeah. understand my style and to shoot more. Uh, if you're if you're new to like second that. shooting weddings, um, I, I think some photographers would give give the opposite advice because they don't want to cold through photos. But I give my my second photographers free reign to shoot as many photos as they want. So, yeah, I, you know, uh, be creative. Um, we love it. I know, like every photographer loves it when they get like creative angles. If you're, you know, and and communicate with with your with your main photographer. So I would I really appreciate it if a second comes over to me and just like I'm thinking about getting this artistic shot here, but I just wanted to like make sure that we were going to get the other shot that we need to get. So right. Yeah, just communication. I feel like a lot of times, as yeah. the second shooter, they have more freedom to do those sorts of things because you yeah. and I are like pinpoint. Yeah. We're in the first position. Yeah. We want to get that shot. Especially if a second shooter is new, like I think this is probably the way with a lot of photographers. I'm going to say I'm going to get every shot that I possibly need, and so there's no way 
that you can you can go wrong here just get the most creative yeah. shots you know and so yeah and i feel like that's, that's really kind attempt, of the same but, thing with me is like when so if i'm having a new second shooter yeah. usually i won't bring them as a second shooter unless it's like maybe to an engagement session yeah. or something when they're getting started i'll bring them as a third shooter to a wedding though and i'll have them kind of trailing along with us all day and making shots and see where yeah. their skills are where their strengths are and stuff and then try to help yeah. help them and that just, um, yeah, a couple more quick tips, uh, things that might drive your main photographer crazy. Um, so for family photos, I want at least uh, five photos of the, the same family grouping. So, um, you know, count down one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, take four to five shots. So we have one photo with everybody's eyes open. Um, in the pictures, so uh, family photos take multiples, take lots. Um, I tell you, as for me, as a pet peeve is when my seconds shoot during groups. Like I don't want my other photographer taking pictures during groups. I want them just looking at you me. You don't want them off to the side. I don't. I want them yeah. right there next to me, talking to the people and and putting their cameras away because yeah. I don't want some people looking at me and some people looking at, of course. at the second. Yeah, like typically photo. when when I have a second shooting while I'm doing like bridal party or something, we'll split the. So I'll, I'll do like uh, like uh, bride uh, bride over here with all their bridesmaids and I'll be like go shoot the groom over here but when you shoot those groom photos do at least like five and that goes for every uh, family formal photo too and then um for, uh, for getting ready, um, what I would tell every second to do when they first get into a room, I think we're going to differ differ on this. I, you should you do, definitely do it a different way. But um, I would say um, turn off turn off the, the orange light source in the room, open up the window, and just get as many photos with the person um, facing towards towards the window so we get that nice, um, you know, not orange uh, white balance. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. But I'll generally do something like that. Yeah. I, won't, I usually won't mess with the lights too much unless it's really hard for me but if i can overpower most of it with window light i'll usually just shoot it natural but if it's really orangey like sometimes you're in a hotel and you just can't really control it so sometimes i'll flip off lights in there or i'll i'll, I'll use flash against my better judgment sometimes. yeah but yeah uh overall like if, if you're just uh starting out in uh in wedding photography and you're just getting into second shooting uh, right now, just uh, communicate a lot with your main yeah, photographer. Yeah, I think that's the most important yeah. thing is just talk to them and, and talk to him or her and make sure that you're doing the things that they want and you're providing yeah. value and, and, and really helpful. Yeah, and, and if somebody shows um, a lot of interest towards uh, becoming a better photographer, like for, for me, that makes me really excited to right, yeah. give them as many tips as I, as I possibly can. And so um, if you just take an interest... And those are in, the ones who end up becoming the best photographers yeah, who have to have their own business yeah, I've been, and stuff. Yeah, and you know you could get a, a long term gig. Uh, my, my second photographer has uh, I've been shooting with my second photographer for like two years now, just one. I've been shooting with Kim for five years now, five seasons. So, so you have some shooters that you shoot with forever, and then yeah. some others that come and go. Yeah, but um, yeah, get get creative with it. Uh, communication is key, and you know just uh, it's a great way to learn. So if you guys have any um, other questions about second shooting weddings or anything like that, maybe I'll leave a comment below and if we have some time, we'll get back to it. So yeah, this was uh, photo footage on second shooting weddings. So.